Hey everybody, it's Scott Steen with winnersandwiners.com coming to you from the Brian Hill studio on the expansive first floor of the Winners and Winners Sports and Entertainment Complex to bring you today's deep three. As always, if you would be so kind, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube page. Uh, get yourself uh, notified every time we put out a brand new video. And of course, if you're digging what we're doing on this video, Give us the old thumbs up. Give us the old like a Rooney, if you would. We appreciate it, as always. Of course, we crave your approval. So uh, thanks for helping us out. And most importantly, let us know what you're playing today. Not just the deep three, whether you're tailing, fading, but what do you got cooked up on your own? I know there's, a, there's some creative NFL players out there, so give us a, give us the lowdown. What you got? You got props, you got sides, you got totals. Uh, the only caveat is it's the weekend. I forgot to tell you guys this yesterday, but I will remember today. Uh, because we're going to have a ton of shout outs. We are going to limit it to just five picks. So make sure they are your best five picks, whatever they are. Football, uh, doesn't matter. Football, golf, tennis, uh, team handball. Uh, what do you got? Soccer over there. What, WNBA. Yeah, whatever it is. You, if you can bet on it, you can win it. Put it down. We'll give you the shout out. Uh, you, you get enough of them right, you'll be one of our posa cappers. And you get the most right, you're going to be our capper of the day, just like Brian was. So. With that being said, I will remind you to visit our websites, of course, winnersandwiners.com, statsalt.com, for deep dives into every contest going on in America every single day. It is an especially valuable tool this time of year as we have write-ups on every NFL game, every NCAA game, and of course, check out tomorrow's uh, for tomorrow night's Monday night football game. Check out the most extensive preview you will find anywhere on the internet, and I will say that with absolute complete confidence. Uh, you will not find a more extensive preview with more details, facts, figures, trends, anywhere, and I mean anywhere, on the internet for free or for money. If I'm a liar, tell me in the comment section where you found a better one, all right? I'm up for it. I'm up for it. All right. And, uh, of course, check out our partners over there at pointsbet.com for all of your betting needs in the great state of New Jersey and the great state of Iowa. Uh, they have a lot of great welcome specials, including... How about uh, your first two bets absolutely uh, risk-free? You lose them, uh, we'll give you your money back, uh, up to up to 1000 bucks. So make sure you check out Points Bet, please. Won't you tell them that Scott and the rest of the Winners and Winners crew sent you. All righty. Well, uh, we, seem to have, uh, we seem to have some fans of the, of the new format as we did the shallow six instead of the deep three. And yeah, you know what? We went, uh, we went three and three. We got juiced on the shallow six. Not so lucky on the premium side as we put up the big golden sombrero. Uh, we hit on the, uh, on the and I'm not going to go through each and every game because there's, again, too many of them, but we did hit uh, the Mizzou, Oregon, and Colorado. We missed out on TCU, uh, the App State team total, and Old Virginia. And on the premium side, we had an over in the Akron and Troy game, a uh, game that was clicking right along. Uh, they had a big go uh, goal line stand. And that just totally turned the complexion of the game, and then we were done. And then we bought uh, we bought into the hype of a couple of favorites that um, were perhaps eh, a little overrated. One of certainly was, and that is the uh, University of Central Florida Knights, as we took them against the Pittsburgh Panthers. And we also had uh, Ugga Nation in the nightcap there last night, and uh, they just, uh, in spite of doing a great job against uh, Notre Dame defensively, uh, they just never could really get it going too much, at least for a couple drives in a row on offense. So uh, Georgia did not take care of business. So Ofer, Ofer is what we did on the premium side and 500 on the shallow six. So what's to do but go on with our picks today from the NFL, starting off up there in Cheddar Nation as the Broncos take on the Wisconsin, uh, uh, as the, the Green Bay Packers up there. Uh, Packers minus seven points. Hey, guys, the pack is back. Well, okay, their defense is back. Uh, the Smith brothers, uh, they're not really brothers, but they are uh, they're wreaking havoc on the defensive line, and uh, they have a uh, combined to help the Packers with a league-leading five takeaways so far. Um, this defense is, is good. They gave up three to Chicago. Uh, big deal. But they also gave up 16 to Minnesota. That's a bigger deal. And uh, they did that on the road. They make Kirk Cousins look like my cousins. And uh, Rodgers, 
you know, this is they've really done well, even and they haven't really got him going yet. He's looked pretty average so far, but uh, they look like they might actually have a running back in Aaron Jones after getting stoned against uh, the Bears in Week One. Kind of broke out against Minnesota last week for 116 yards versus the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, he should be able to keep that going against the Broncos defense, who has given up 125 yards per game uh, to Oakland and Chicago. Quick, name a running back on either team. Can you do it? Yeah, okay. I didn't think so. Um, the, uh, the Broncos don't have a lot of uh, home run capability. They're not going to put those... Uh, big chunk yardage plays together, which means uh, they're going to have to, they're going to have to drive the ball methodically down the field, and that is uh, going to be a difficult task, especially against a great set of Green Bay defensive backs. Uh, long drives seem very unlikely against this Packers defense. Uh, both these teams run at a snail's pace, but I think the Pack holds Denver to 14 or less, and that should get us home easily. So. Give me the Green Bay Packers minus siete, minus seven in this one. And we'll take a look at the uh, Dolphins and the Cowboys game. Uh, no, not going to take a look at the spread. We're going to do something a little bit different on this one. Uh, I'm looking at the Dolphins team total under 13 here, guys. Uh, Josh Rosen gets the start for Miami. Uh, I'm sure that uh, sends uh, shivers of terror up the spine of this Dallas team. Uh, Rosen. Uh, his time in Arizona, he was 3-10 and 10 with uh, the, the uh, Cardinals through 11 TDs and 14 picks. And now he gets the shut-up shot behind a Miami offensive line that has given up 10 sacks in just two games. Uh, Arizona, uh, they gave up uh, 3.2 3 per game last season, and he thought that offensive line sucked. And hey, guess what, Josh? Uh, there isn't a David Johnson or Larry Fitzgerald Anywhere inside, brother. Uh, Dallas, well, they are down two wide receivers, and it's if they look like they're probably going to need to run the ball with Zeke um, to control the tempo. That's the reason I don't really like I don't like a spread play here. I'm certainly I'm certainly not going to bet on Miami because you know I'm not crazy. But on the other side of the coin, I don't have enough faith in Dallas moving the ball quickly uh, to cover uh, three plus touchdowns. Uh, could it happen? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, but I just uh, have more confidence in this underplay. Uh, I got to be honest with you. We see what it's, it's, what that's going to happen is obviously when Zeke runs the ball, they're going to control the ball more. I think they throw shorter pass. I think they get the tight end, the tight end involved as usual. And uh, I think they are able to move the ball methodically down the field, take up a lot of time and limit possessions uh, for the Dolphins. And that limits possessions obviously we're going to limit opportunities for points I've got to be honest when i saw the team total of 13 for miami i thought that might be for the year uh nope just for this game hey tanking for tua continues uh give me the miami dolphins team total under 13 in this one and hey we're going to finish it off with a uh with a game that it's uh going on uh, very close to my home here as the uh, baltimore ravens take on the kansas city chiefs um, Ravens, five-point road dog in this one. You know, this is the uh, first real test for the Chiefs' new 4-3 uh, defense. You know, Jacksonville and Oakland uh, don't really count. Uh, Baltimore, uh, they, were, they came to Kansas City last year, and they had this game won, except for a uh, late game uh, fourth down pass from Mahomes to Tyree Kill that really uh, kind of put him in the lead for the league MVP. Uh, the Chiefs, I was the same game with the no-look pass, by the way. So those two things uh, you, you led off Sports Center that night. Uh, the Chiefs, uh, they're uh, down a couple of, uh, well, they're down one running back in their starter, Damian Williams. Uh, Shady McCoy is banged up with an ankle problem. He is questionable for this game. Uh, they're also missing uh, starting left, left tackle Eric Fisher, f former number one, number one, one draft pick. Uh, he is out. Uh, his sub, Cam Irving, he struggled mightily last week with the uh, uh, Raiders rookie, uh, Clean Farrell. You might say Farrell did not make the Chiefs happy. I'm happy. That's right. It's a Farrell joke. Thank you. Um, you know who You know who it does make happy? Uh, Baltimore linebackers, uh, Judon and McPhee. Uh, both these guys have a pair of sacks so far on the season. And uh, Mahomes... 
you know, he's going to get his. He's Mahomes. But I think Lamar Jackson right now is the toughest player to scheme for in the NFL. Uh, he has a real running back in Mark Ingram, who's averaging 5.7 yards per carry so far this season. I think the Chiefs defense gets exposed. I wouldn't hate you if you took the Ravens straight up at plus 200, but I think the Ravens get revenge, and I like them plus five in this one. So give me the Ravens plus five. Hurts me to say it. Uh, give me the Dolphins team total under 13. Doesn't hurt me a bit. And give me the Packers over the Broncos. Doesn't hurt even even less. Give me the Packers minus seven. At the end of those three, you guys know the drill. We'll pick up our winning tickets. You guys can join me as we head back to the window. All right, everybody, let's take a look. Uh, let's see what kind of damage we did here on the premium side going 0-3. Certainly going to affect our record a little bit. Absolutely true. Uh, dumped us back to 24-18-2. That puts us at 57.1% for the month of September. Still profitable, but we like to do a little better, and I think we're going to get that started today. If you guys want to get down on the premium picks, uh, I'd love to have you on the team. Make sure you just follow that link right there, and we would be happy. Happy! We'd be happy to help you out. All right. So, with that being said, let's uh, let's go to the important part. Let's see how you guys did today, shall we? How about uh, how about we start in this? I see. I always do them in reverse order. So, uh, if you ever wonder why the carrot usually first, because uh, it did never sleeps. All right. I think he I think he drinks I think he drinks vodka, randomly picks games, and uh, does not sleep. So, uh, pick carrot says he was excited about more picks. He says, now we're talking. And then Carrot said that he went seven and three yesterday instead of the six and four that I said. Uh, well, you know what? We have the results right here, and uh, we have determined that that was a lie. No, Carrot, he went six and four, and he realized it. He said he had one game. He goes, "Oh, I actually bet it under, but I, I, mean, I wrote, bet it over, but I played it. I, I said it under." Um, yeah, that's happened to me a lot. I try to do it when I go back to the sports book and go, "Yeah, dude, I really meant uh, over." Even though my ticket says under, so if you could have, that'd be great. Uh, but, so, Carrot, well, he was uh, he was so pissed about that that he just went out and won eight of his ten games. As he goes eight and two plus 630 on the day. Not bad. Uh, C-Dub, uh, C-Dub said he's been rallying a little bit the last couple days. He even made a little profit yesterday, and uh, or the day before yesterday, and then yesterday, C-Dub, he got juiced. Uh, again, not a horrible day. All right, uh, Steve Godin. Uh, Steve, he eked out a profit. He went four and three with a uh, uh, little uh, college football slate there. As uh, he goes uh, plus seventy on the day. Uh, Kent P said, uh, "Happy Saturday." He said, "Let's get some winners." He's, he's tailing me on the Missouri and Colorado game. Also tailed us on the TCU game. Hmm, okay, two out of three ain't bad, as, as Mr. Lope said. Uh, he also got down on Kentucky. And anyway, bottom line is uh, 3 and 2 plus 80 on the day. Uh, Get a King said, uh, Salute, amigo. Uh, salute, right back, Get a King. Uh, thanks very much. Uh, always love it when you stop by. Uh, Nick Rompero. Uh, Nick goes 5 and 3 on the day plus 170. Not bad at all. He also loved the Shadow Six. I think we're going to keep doing it. I really do. I think, we're, I think we'll do it again next Saturday. Uh, Square Square seven oh seven Steam PS four said uh, also said yes keep the six format uh, and then uh, he or she um, actually uh, uh, I can tell by the name that uh, this is the, this is the compliment uh, I can tell by the by the way if you're new to it uh, when we do the when we do the uh, the shout outs I either tell you what you won or I will try to make you feel better by just throwing out a random comp, uh, compliment even if I don't know anything about you so that kind of makes it fun for me. Um, and, uh, square 707 says, I can tell by his name that, uh, square 707 is way cooler than I am. And you know what? I'm okay with that. It's good to have some cool people around. Keep it up, buddy. Uh, lean to collective, uh, lean to collective. He got juiced today. Uh, little taco. Good to see little taco back. I don't think we've seen little taco back since basketball season. Uh, little taco said baseball is the way to go and, uh, gave us three plays. He gave us the Dodgers, the Brewers and the athletics says, thank me later. Well, I can certainly thank him for the Brewers and Athletics. We will not thank him for the Dodgers, where we had to lay 400 uh, to watch Walker Bueller lose his first game at Chavez Ravine. So, uh, Lil Taco, I'll tell you this about Lil Taco. He lives life to the fullest. He makes every day Taco Tuesday. Um, now, he did uh, write us later. 
Said he took the Yankees, LSU, and Wisconsin. Said he ended up making 434 or 534 in profit today. Nice job, Little Taco. That'll buy a lot of Little Tacos and full-size tacos. Uh, Super Cisco. Man, Super Cisco, uh, he had a, a rough day as well. Uh, he said it's... Uh, he said it's a. Uh, he said he's coming. He's he, toughest day that he's ever had as a handicapper. And I will say, Super Cisco, it's a tough day. But Super Cisco is a good dude, and he is a good handicapper, and he absolutely will be back. Uh, Kyle Z, um, Kyle Z uh, ended up uh, not having a horrible day. I think he was one under five hundred. And what I'll say about Kyle is, uh, even though he didn't have an awful day, he made a lot of us feel a lot better about the day that we had. So. Thanks for that, Kyle, because we figure if Mr. Perfect can have a bad day, then, uh, you know, there's hope for the rest of us. Uh, Richard Reed. Richard Reed put up a couple picks, and I'll say this about Richard as a kid. He never once fed his veggies to the dog. He always ate his veggies to the, the dog. Never got any broccoli from Richard. Thanks, Richard. That's very cool. Uh, BH Hedge 88 uh, said he was able to capitalize. Oh, on the Law Tech game. Holy shit, I forgot to say that. Yes. I turned it off. When they scored the touchdown, I clicked off the TV and started recording videos. I was like, God damn it. So I did not have any idea that they scored on the onside kick um, on the last play of the game. Uh, what an all-time backdoor cover. I would have been uh, hooping and hollering on that one. So yeah, I hadn't checked my account or anything. So I had no idea. So yeah, everybody's pointing out going, Dude, Law Tech won. I'm like, yeah, they did. So that was really weird to wake up to that this morning. So anyway, I said he, uh, uh, B Head said he was able to uh, uh, capitalize on the uh, Law Tech play. He got down on the Air Force under, and he also played the Mets and the Reds. Thought that was honestly a fluke, but uh, yeah, he got a lot of runs there. So he said he can't be mad. Uh, happy with his outcomes overall. Very good. Uh, uh, Christian, Christian uh, Costilla, uh, he said, I'm going crazy on college football tonight. And uh, he did. He didn't do awful. But uh, he didn't quite didn't quite get home. Um, but I will say this about Christian: he is the coolest guy I know in the entire country of Romania. So keep up the good work, brother. Very nice, um, Scott B. Oh, Scotty, Scotty, Scotty. Um, he he did hit a fourteen teaser uh, somewhere around probably minus one fifteen to one hundred. So we'll give him a hundred points there. But uh, and then I saw three picks that I recognized here as a as premium plays. So, uh, then Scott also threw in a Tulsa play, which missed by a point. So, yeah, it was that kind of a day for all of us. So, Scott, uh, what I will say about Scott is he has the absolute coolest first name of anyone I know. Sorry, brother. We're going we're gonna to get well today. You know the, you know the drill. So, our, uh, our positive cappers for today is uh, Nick Rampero went 5-3 uh, and three plus 170. And Kent P, 3-2 and two plus 80. Steve Godin, 4-3 uh, and three plus 70. But, you know him, you love him, you squeeze him and he's orange, going 8-2 and two on the day, registering victory of 630. He is the one, the only, Mad Carrot hates sports. Mad Carrot, you, sir, are our capper of the day. Congratulations, my friend. All right, guys, uh, that's it for me today. Don't forget to uh, let us know what you're playing. Uh, five picks max for the weekend's. If I forget to say it, five picks max, all right? Um, that way I'm not recording it, whatever it is, four in the morning. So uh, good luck on everything today, guys. Let's uh, let's make some money today, all right? Kind of, a, kind of a chunky day yesterday. Let's rally. Let's get that Let's get that cheddar. Let's finish strong, all right? No matter how we do, though, we'll meet back here tomorrow, man, and we will bitch about our bad beats. Hey, we're going to brag about our fat stacks, and because we're all DGENs and Monday's coming, we'll fire it up and we'll do it all again. All right, you guys take care. And I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.